Throne in Liberty is almost here, with early access starting tomorrow and full access on October 1st. That's right, we're days away from entering a dynamic, ever-changing world full of new relationships with guilds and dangerous enemies. But the excitement doesn't stop there. This journey is just beginning. The team at Amazon Games and NCSoft has been hard at work planning how to keep the world of Silesium feeling alive with constant updates. We're looking at multiple updates each month with a huge emphasis on live updates, seasonal events, and of course, major releases every three to four months. The first major update, mark your calendars for December. Expect new systems, meta ships, and more. When it comes to vertical progression, there are some big changes compared to the Korean release. While features like Tier 2 gear and the rune system are major upgrades, the developers are holding off on their immediate release. Instead, they'll monitor how we progress through the game and make adjustments based on active player feedback. October is packed with content. Using the milestone system, new content will unlock after specific server-wide objectives are completed. The pacing has been sped up from the original Korean launch, allowing everyone to unlock content at a reasonable pace. And for you spooky fans, our first seasonal event is a Halloween-themed adventure. Silesium transforms into a trick-or-treating paradise with haunted twists. Be ready to explore it across all global regions at the same time. For all the guild leaders out there, Throne and Liberty brings intense PvP events. Battle it out for Boonstones and Riftstones in October. These competitions are a great way to earn extra rewards for your guild through strategic captures in the hunting grounds and control zones. And don't forget about open world bosses. Field bosses offer powerful loot, while arch bosses releasing later in the month will test your strength with weekly battles for top tier rewards. As we move into November, guilds will compete for ultimate control of Silesium in the first castle sieges. Defend your fortress or launch an all-out assault. Either way, the reigning guild claims the throne at Stoneguard Castle. If PvP isn't your thing, don't worry. November will bring two-star dungeons with tougher challenges and greater rewards. December brings the first major update for Throne and Liberty, introducing brand new content that will shake up the entire game. While we can't reveal all the details just yet, expect more surprises as we continue this journey together. With early access beginning tomorrow and full launch just days away, now is the perfect time to prepare for Throne in Liberty. Check out the original article below and get ready to dive into the game. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more Throne in Liberty updates. We'll see you in Silesium.